Namaste to everyone. Namaste Kumariya. Good morning. Welcome to the morning session. Namaste Bhaiya. Namaste everyone. So let us have a look at the assignment. It's the same assignment that we had day before yesterday. Notice the imagination going on in you. <clears throat> Observe the object of imagination first and then see how imagination goes from one object to another. Try to see the source of imagination, some preconditioning or sensation or your natural acceptance. Try to make out the desire, imaging, the thought, analyzing, comparing, and expectation, selecting, testing with every object of the imagination. Note down your observation in your journal. We'll discuss our observations and questions. So we have been discussing the activities of the self. And primarily, so far, we discussed the activities of block B2, that is the dimension of imagination. And we have been trying to make out the object of imagination. We are trying to develop our awareness about the object of imagination. Once the object of imagination is clear, then we can see with that object, what my desire is, what my thought is, what my expectation is. And then I can also see the source of my imagination. Is it some preconditioning or sensation or natural acceptance? Now, this is something that we'll be doing in detail in exercise one. We have started this observation now. To begin with, when we started this batch, so we started with the discussion on happiness, whether it is my innate nature or is it some external influence? So you could see that if I am having the right understanding, right feeling, and right thought, then the source of happiness is inside me. And this is what we are working for. Thus, happiness becomes my innate nature. Else, I have to depend on something outside for my happiness, be it some favorable sensation from the body or some favorable feeling from others. And then I am enslaved because there is no definite completion point I have to depend on. Some, on something outside, there is no continuity, no definiteness, these issues are there. Then we discussed about human consciousness and the program for transformation to human consciousness. Then we discussed about the human being and we saw that human being is coexistence of self and body. Self is central to human existence, body is merely an instrument. And with that we could make out the correct need for physical facilities for the body. Now with this all discussion, we started discussing about the self and this is what we are doing right now. So it is somewhat an ongoing process. We have to continue this observation and you will see <clears throat> that overall your level of awareness might have been going up about the self. Now you are more aware about your imagination. If there is something in your imagination which is not acceptable to you naturally, you get aware of it. You might also be able to see that you are now more aware of your feeling. Earlier, you were mostly engrossed in thoughts and that also completely being unaware. Your thought was getting drifted from one point to another and you are also just migrating with that. But now you can observe. So one exercise that was suggested in this regard was just take a pen and paper. Observe for some time, make out the object of your imagination, make up, write something there, and then see how the object moves from one point to another. <clears throat> so when you do this exercise, you can exactly see what you have been doing inside. Isn't it? And then at every point of imagination, you can observe the feeling associated, how the imagination moves from one object to another how it got analyzed, you know, what options were there when you were comparing, how could you select the next option, and what taste you were having, right? So observe this, we have to keep on observing this. If any question is there regarding the discussion that we had so far, we can discuss. Where can we put up the slide that we were discussing yesterday? Good morning. Morning. 
Yeah, sir, uh, uh, I have a doubt on uh, uh, this slide uh, you are just showing, sir. Uh, so, do they desire uh, start first and then uh, we go for thought, then we go for the expectation or it will be at random, uh, for example, thought will be arising, then it will go for desire or else uh, expectation needs based on it desire uh, arises. So, I would like to just know the clarity. Which is the uh, source of start? So whether it's going to start with the desire, then it extends to thought, then it uh, tries to implement it as an uh, ex expectation. So presently it can be random. When I do not have right understanding, it is generally random. Random. So it can be the case that first some expectation is there and then it is triggering some thought and then I'm getting some desire and then the desire is driving my thought and expectation. Quite possible. For example, you look at a car and you get fascinated by the look of the car, isn't it? So in your testing, you are finding it favorable and then you start thinking about owning this kind of car and then that becomes a desire for you. And now that it has become a desire, it is driving your thought and expectation now. Even though the car is not there in front of you, now it is driving your thought and expectation. So this could be possible. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a question that uh, when we say feeling of relationship, do we mean all nine feelings or will uh, we mean a you know, few of them also that is naturally acceptable to us? Uh, and that is to relate with others or relate with all? or it's like uh, one to nine feelings are, uh, uh, means say we start with trust and we end up with uh, love. So it's depending the uh, feeling feeling of relationship or how can we see this? Means when we say feeling of relationship means we are related to others. And when we categorize uh, individual feeling or we label these feelings, so how do we see them? Yes, we are. So it depends on the development in the self. So if I have been able to contemplate upon all the naturally acceptable feelings and I am there with the feeling of love, then when you say feeling of relationship, it is there with the feeling of love. But if I am not developed to that extent, I have been only able to contemplate on a few feelings. So in the feeling of relationship would be confined to those feelings. So that depends on my development, to what extent I'm developed. Say if I have been able to realize the whole existence as coexistence, then my every feeling would have coexistence at the base. But if I have not been able to realize the existence as coexistence, then that would be missing. So when you say feeling, if block V1 is not at all developed, so it could be a mix of naturally acceptable and unacceptable feelings at the level of desire. Now, the development starts with contemplation. So when I'm able to contemplate upon a few feelings, let's say trust, then at least this much I will have in my feeling when I try to relate with somebody. Then going further and further, at some point of time, I'm able to contemplate on love. And it has continuity. So I always relate to the other human being or the rest of nature with the feeling of love. So that again depends on the development of the self. We uh, are then in that case, in any of these feelings, if we are having and we are able to identify that we are you know, saying as desire. Say it again, Bhaiya. Uh, any of these feelings when we are contemplating or you know we are able to observe that we are saying is desire yes so con con contemplation is there at the level of desire no yes so the feeling that i am able to contemplate it starts guiding my imaging then my desire is developed to that extent so gradually in the process of development to human consciousness our desire gets developed and 
the higher level activities get awakened. And finally, when I able to realize the whole existence as coexistence, it becomes the guiding source of all my imagination. So every time I'm able to see the coexistence. So I'm also able to see the basis for love, how I'm related to the whole humanity, to every human being. I'm able to see the basis of my relationship with the rest of nature also. Because now my every desire, thought and expectation is guided by realization of submergence. So this process of evolution of the self is such that the higher level activities start getting awakened. And it's a gradual process. It's not that it's completely binary. It is either zero or one. No, it's a gradual process. And we can see in this process, like the way we were trying to relate to human beings earlier, maybe three or four years back when we had not attended any workshop, it was not clear. Now we are able to see the relation of self and self in place of body and body. So at up to this point, I'm able to develop my desire. So whenever I have a desire to relate to the other, I can see the relation of self and self and not body and body. Isn't it? This much has maybe become a part of my desire. But I'm not actually able to see whether I want to make the other happy all the time, whether the other wants to make me happy all the time. So I work upon it. At some point of time, I will to observe this also. So now this becomes a part of my desire. So whenever <clears throat> I'm imaging about any relationship, about my being, then this is that they are at the base. I never have a doubt on intention of anyone. But still, like, my desire is not complete com because the contemplation is not complete. So I still work for it. At some point of time, I'm able to contemplate on the feeling of love. And then I can see my relationship with the whole humanity. I can see the whole world as my family. But still, there is some doubt because I'm not able to see the basis for this relationship. So I try to see the basis for this relationship and with some effort, consistent effort, working for human consciousness, I'm able to realize the existence as coexistence. Then I'm also able to see the basis for love. So my desire is also getting developed in the process. My imaging is also getting developed in the process. And if desire is getting developed, then my basis of comparing are also getting developed. The analysis is also getting developed. I'm able to taste happiness most of the time. This is how the evolution is taking place in me. Is that fine, Bia? Absolutely. Thank you. Nice, Bia. So presently, if you see the self, when the imagination is there on the basis of sensation of preconditioning. So the higher level activities are not awakened, but I'm able to see my natural acceptance. And that becomes the source of my imagination from time to time. But mostly I'm misguided by preconditioning or sensation. Then my thought is unguided. So there are six bases of comparing in my thought. Comparing means comparing between various options. So presently, when it is unguided, then I am having thought on the basis of senses, health, and profit. So whether it is conducive to my senses or not, I keep on analyzing it. I have to purchase a house, right? I keep on analyzing how it will be more and more appealing to my senses. I have to select my food, how it will be more and more appealing to my senses. I have to select clothes, how it will be more and more appealing to my senses. I have to select my car, how it will be more and more appealing to my senses. So this way I am comparing most of the time. When it is unguided. Then it could be based on health or consumption. So how to consume more and more. I require 10 pairs of clothes, but how to accumulate, how to consume more. How to change my clothes five times in a day. If I need one house, how to have more and more houses without ever being able to make out how many I require? One person was caught on the charges of corruption in Delhi and Siak. And when he was caught, he had 1,000 houses. 
so it is mostly you know, devoted to consumption how to consume more and more so i assume consumption to be health i feel that if i consume more i am healthier then my body is going to be preserved for a longer time so unknowingly you know, i am working for nurturing the body protecting the body without being able to see the body as my instrument and then i see my survival as the survival of the body so i am trying to do as much as possible you know for preserving my body for nurturing my body and then i am trying to accumulate and consume then it could be unguided in terms of profit so whenever i have to exchange i try to look for the maximum how to take maximum and give minimum to the other so in my relationship i am always calculating how to get maximum and give minimum so whether i am at a shop or exchanging with my friend or in any such interaction where some physical facilities involved i am trying to get the maximum and give the minimum this kind of thought is there how to maximize my profit how to maximize my physical facilities so if you see when a person living with animal consciousness and exploitation is not on then generally we are doing like this only we are trying to analyze various situations and trying to maximize physical facilities trying to maximize consumption trying to maximize sensual pleasure and in my testing in my testing my you know sensation is driving the testing so i am looking for more and more uh, happiness through testing of sensation so there are five sense organs and i am trying to be happy it is excitement but i am not aware i am trying to be happy through senses and this is what is working at the level of testing so this could be the scenario when my imagination is unguided when i am not having the right understanding and right feeling now with all this discussion we have to see how it relates to me am i caught up in all this is my thought unguided is my testing unguided and you can see the repercussion in our life maybe for maximizing my profit i disturbed or destroyed some relationship isn't it i ran into some kind of fight or quarrel maximizing profit i tried to consume more and more for health and destroyed my health if you look at the problems in the society today the health issues are primarily now particularly in the middle class or upper middle class due to more consumption so we are trying to consume more and more if you see now that the summer is on we may plan to be in air conditioned room all the 24 hours we are not able to accept sweating if the body starts sweating we are restless so i need air conditioned room all the time and because of that the cough in the body is going up there are so many problems which are coming up because generally we are in packed rooms with air conditioner on i am not getting pure oxygen for the body so it may be okay to use this from time to time but if i am all the time consuming this then i my thought is driven by uh health or consumption and the same way with senses you can see to get excitement through sensual pleasures again we may destroy our health we may destroy our relationships we may be caught up in programs for maximization of sensual pleasure which may lead into unethical life so you can see so many unethical practices in the society if you try to categorize all these unethical practices in the society they are owing to these three bases of comparing why so much of uh, corruption why so much of uh, unchaste behavior in conjugal relationship why so much of accumulation why so much of exploitation so you can see that all the unethical practices in the society are owing to these three 
wrong basis of comparison because the self is unguided comparing is unguided because the right understanding is not developed you try to look into all the practices all the unethical practices and you see something like this and then we are trying to base our relationships on this basis the relationship with the spouse the relationship with the child the relation with my friend and that could be the basis so if i try to relate to the other human being on this basis there cannot be mutual happiness there cannot be uh, the relationship cannot be based on trust so i am not aware of relationship i am not aware of harmony in the nature i am not aware of coexistence and i'm just trying to plan to live you know on this basis and i'm expecting happiness from outside through some favorable sensation or favorable feeling from others uh, namaste bhaiya namaste to all my co explorers uh, bhaiya this uh, unguided and guided uh, suppose we have to balance suppose we will take uh, health health so we need to have balance uh, the uh, food we are consuming uh, should nourish our body and everything. suppose if i am living some region some uh, only particular items available in this region suppose in cities and all those all the uh, whatever required available but uh, in the villages or small towns we will have only the limited variety available and uh, we need to consume more and more only that item only so we have to compromise and uh, so in that case it is called unguided or what is that we can say so one option is that my thought is guided by right understanding another option is that the thought is unguided due to absence of right understanding but i do not have the options available so yes. i want to consume more and more but the facilities are not available yes Yes. I want to get maximum physical pleasure, but the choices are not there. I want to maximize my profit, but those po uh, possibilities of exchange are not there. So this is second possibility. Yes. And the third is that the possibility is there, so I am going for it. So you'll see yes. that in the suburban or rural areas also, it's not that the people are living with human consciousness. It's only that the choice is not available. Once the choice is available, they start going for that. Yes. I just see that in here in the Delhi NCR region, the lands of the farmers were sold because yes, the government yes. you know, occupied that land for special economic zones or for residential yes, apartments. Yes. And yes. the cities are expanding. Cities yes. are expanding, so the farmers are selling their land to the government, and they yes. have now enormous money. Yes. Right. And what? Mm -hmm. What they are doing now? They or their children are consuming it the same way as people in the metro. it is having consuming yes. so now the choice is available so the same unguided sense of health and profit has started working yes so that's the problem basically if the self is not developed it's only a matter of the facility being available if the facility is not available our conduct appears definite once the facility is available it becomes indefinite so that's why we took on assignment that if there is no limitation to the income that is all the facilities are available then what would be your desires try to make them out if the desires are there inside and the conditiveness is not there outside it's only a matter of circumstances when the circumstances are conducive the situation becomes favorable we start working accordingly yes uh, generally we people uh, in general what uh, I, my observation is uh, uh, we generally compare with the uh, people who are uh, suppose uh, enjoying or over consuming and all this suppose if you mentioned air condition so almost all of the houses and everything you yeah, nobody wants to exposure for a little bit more temperature and everything so people observing them and uh, these people are going to Uh, have such a same type of facility they are not in a position to live in uh, a, bit, a little bit difficult uh, situations they want to, to avoid completely and uh, 
they are regularly going for medication if at all any problems and but they are never thought about uh, uh, the living conditions uh, must be naturally arranged uh, natural way so this is the thing happening everywhere i have seen i don't have suppose for example i don't have any uh, ac or uh, so simple cooler i will use if at all required but uh, all my relatives and everywhere they are using uh, at least one or the two rooms in the ac so even they are very much congested and not air flowing and anything but they uh, in, uh, they pressurized or uh, asked me to why you are not going to get you are able to get that one and they uh, able to do that but uh, uh, my family they are also asking me you are not doing that this uh, you are not, uh, not able to do or you are so conducive like that so these are all uh, uh, because yeah, of for lack of understanding see. yeah yeah that's how we can see that the cost of living has gone up enormously yes 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 on yes. one hand people are saying that there are problems of unemployment there is there is scarcity of resources okay the population yes. is going up on the yes, other yes. hand the level of consumption has gone up enormously enormously yeah, correct yeah yes i can yes. see here in delhi ncr that people mm. are almost all the time using the yes. ac yes. and there is so much of electricity yes. consumption from where yes. we get yes. this much of electricity then we have to exploit yes. the nature yes. and then every person has to earn a lot and and spend a lot Yes, yes, yes. And then we do not have enough to spend in our extended relationship. We do not have enough to spend on the society. So yes. we are missing out on the part of relationship. And then we feel more insecure. Once we feel more insecure, they have to accumulate more and more. Yes, yes. And that becomes a vicious cycle. And yes. when we are keeping our children with so much of facilities right from childhood, yes, yes, they become conditioned like that. Yes. And they are unable they to understand. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. When they enter into marital relationships and those facilities are not available, maybe then yeah. the relationship is at stake. Yes. So it has, you know, uh, it has coupled so many issues together. So that's what, no, we have to observe at the root. Is my yes. thought unguided? Am I comparing on this basis? If I can locate <clears throat> the problem here. Rest of the problems will start getting solved in my living. How much yes. do I need to nurture my body? How much do I need to protect my body? How much do I need to rightly utilize my body? Yes. For for me, self is concerned. Okay, I am able to understand, and uh, according to that, I am following. But uh, my worry is uh, people are unable to uh, understand at all. Uh, and uh, bothering about uh, consuming more, and uh, if they uh, somehow they feel foolishness to not consuming, if you are even though you are uh, capable to do all this, uh, that is the even if the family family members also uh, unable to make them understand, that is also difficult. What I found, observe. and relationships they are they want to make relationship uh, when all facilities are available those people who have all these facilities then they want to make relations whether that is genuine relationship or not that is okay secondary but people are not at all uh, understand what is the relationship means that is also problem yes yes, yes. so have to see nice bhai yes. so thank you bhai thank you now this is our desired state so that our higher level activities are awakened now earlier my thought was unguided expectation was unguided imaging was unguided now the exploration that we are into gradually exploring the relationship the being of the self the body and all the units in the nature the submergence of the nature in space we are able to come to a state where we are able to see the whole existence as coexistence now let me say that it is easier said than accomplished so <laughs> it's of course a doable task but it's a kind of thing where you have to involve ourselves fully we have to work for it consistently so we may come to a state when i am able to see the whole existence as coexistence 
I am able to realize the coexistence. I am able to realize the submergence of nature in space. Now, when I am able to realize this, there is a natural decision in me to be in accordance with that. Now that I am able to see that I am there in space, the body is there in space. I interact the body through space. Every unit around me is in space. I am, I am and I am related to every unit through space. Every unit. Being in space is self-organized, energized, recognizing the relationship with other units and fulfilling it. Now, with this, I feel in a state of super bliss. That is a state of super bliss in me. And then I have a natural decision in me to be in accordance with that. I can see the existence as coexistence as ever. It was there, it is there, it is going to be there. I can see that it is not a creation, it is existence, right? I can see the basis for the definiteness of conduct of every unit in this existence. So now there's a natural decision in me to be in accordance with that. Now, before I could realize the whole existence of existence, I was able to understand the harmony in the nature. All the four orders, I can see how they are mutually fulfilling each other. Now with this realization of coexistence, I can see the basis for this harmony in the nature. So my understanding now gets complete. I was able to understand the harmony, but not the basis for that. With realization, the basis has become clear to me. So the understanding of harmony in the nature gets complete now with realization. And then there's a natural decision in me to be in accordance with that. So the natural decision in me to be in accordance with what I have come to realize is authentication. The natural decision in me to be in accordance with understanding of harmony in nature, in completeness, is determination. Now, I had been contemplating upon my feelings in relationship, okay, but I was not able to see the basis earlier. Now, with realization and understanding, the basis is complete. I am able to have the activity of contemplation in completeness. Now I can see the relationship in entirety. I can see my relationship with each and every unit in nature, be it material or consciousness. And I do not have to think separately for that. It's very much there in me, it's stated in me. Now, now this one, this activity of contemplation now guides my imaging completely. I'm no longer unguided by, or I'm no longer dictated by preconditions. It may again take some time. I may take some time to evaluate my preconditions, but gradually evaluating my preconditions, I get rid of all the assumptions in me, which I had built up in me without right understanding. So now my imaging is complete. I'm able to see the human goal. I'm able to see my participation and all the time now I'm imaging a happy and prosperous life in line with contemplation, understanding and realization. No longer I desire for a happy or prosperous life through physical facilities or through sensual pleasures. But rather now the source is inside me. Happiness has become my innate nature. So every moment my desire is guided with this right understanding. Now when the imaging is guided completely by right understanding, then my thought is also guided by completely right understanding. So at the level of comparing, I was earlier driven by senses, health or profit. No, now no longer I'm driven by senses, health or profit. Now they become definite. They are now guided. So now my thought is guided by coexistence, harmony, and relationship. So earlier it may be the case that I was exploiting my relative for profit. Now whenever I try to relate to the other, it's not for profit, it is for mutual happiness. It may be the case that I was earlier exploiting the nature for consumption or profit or sensual pleasure. I'm no longer doing that, right? But rather I'm able to see how this person can be a unit of universal human order 
can be the foundation for undivided society. I'm working for harmony now, isn't it? And coexistence is, of course, <clears throat> guiding me. Earlier, it might be the case that I was exploiting my body or my relative or the physical facilities for sensual pleasure, for senses. I'm no longer doing that. I'm able to see the information that I get from the body. And I associate the meaning to the information guided by right understanding. And every time I'm utilizing my body and instrument and physical facilities as instruments for the body so that every self in the society gets developed. So my conduct is now completely definite, guided by right understanding. And with that, I analyze all the options. So earlier, I might be analyzing the option for maximization of profit, maximization of sensual pleasure, maximization of consumption. Now I'm analyzing the situations in terms of undivided society, universal human order. And then I'm testing happiness all the time. So in my test, it was limited to senses or favorable feeling from others. Now the testing has got complete because I'm testing happiness all the time. I'm in the state of continuity of happiness. So the super bliss in me, the bliss in me, the satisfaction and peace in me ensures happiness and continuity in me <clears throat> at the level of expectation. And then whenever I have to select, I select always on the basis of relationship, harmony, and coexistence. I select always in terms of mutual happiness, mutual prosperity, in terms of undivided society, universal human order, human tradition. Now you can see the shift in my conduct. Earlier, I was exploiting the world to have more and more for my child. Now I can see the whole next generation as my child. I was exploiting the rest of the world to consume at the level of family. Now I can see the whole world as my family. I was exploiting my body to get sensual pleasure or to get you know, favorable sensation from the body. Now I'm utilizing the body all the time for participation in universal human order, undivided society. Isn't it? So my conduct has a complete shift now. And if you just try to visualize this, image this in you, then you can see that essentially now what has happened? Happiness has become your innate nature. Within yourself, you are happy all the time. You are happy by yourself, observing the whole existence as coexistence, observing the harmony in the entire nature, observing your relationship with every human being and the rest of nature. You are happy by yourself. Isn't it? So whatever be the situation outside, you are always decided for your role. So my role is always going to be in terms of harmony and never disharmony. Always in terms of development of the other and not for exploitation of the other. So there is a complete shift in my being, in my living. And, and this is what we are desiring for, what we are working for. This is what we are exploring for. So this is the desired state. Gee. The activities in the block B1 are called as block, uh, like uh, uh, higher level activities are called block B1 and the lower level activities are called, called as uh, block B2. Nice. Yeah, uh, namaste and namaste to all co-explorer. I have a question about uh, contemplation. Um, are you able to explain uh, contemplation a little bit more? And uh, uh, how would I know if I am contemplating, uh, if that's okay? Contemplation means to see the relationship, the participation in the larger order. So whether you are contemplating or not, you have to make out. So to begin with, you know, so are you able to see that you want to make the other happy every moment? Yes, please. Find it out. Yes. So you have natural acceptance for that. But are you actually doing it? Okay. If you are actually doing it, then you are able to contemplate on the relationship. 
So when I ask myself whether I want to make the other happy or not, yes, I want to make the other happy. Whether I have a desire to make happy or you know, the other all the time, so I may not have. I may not have that desire. I may have grudges, complaints. I may have feeling of anger, revenge, opposition. All those things might be there. It simply means that I have not been able to contemplate on relationship. A very simple test. So if I have a mm. desire to make the other happy all the time, then, you know, to that extent, I'm able to contemplate on the relationship. So we okay. can start from here. We can start from here and then go further. And so then um... before questioning that whether the other wants to make you happy, ask yourself whether you want to make the other happy. If yes, then whether you are having a desire to make the other happy. And then see further. Yes, Bhaiya. Yeah. Um, and Bhaiya, yeah, that's uh, one side of contemplating. Uh, then you start to see uh, in the larger order. So contemplation about anything which uh, is is uh, aligned with natural acceptance, that's the actual contemplation. Either it's a, a relationship or existence or the nature. Is that, uh, have I understood correctly? See, contemplation is always in line with natural acceptance. Yeah. Whether my desire is in line with natural acceptance or not is the matter of observation. Okay. So if the desire is also in line with natural acceptance, then the contemplation has developed. Else All it right. is undoing. It is not awakened. Thank you. Whenever you have, yeah, whenever you have contemplation, that would be in line with natural acceptance. That is there. It cannot be misaligned at all. No possibility. Your natural acceptance is the potential to contemplate. So there is no question of misalignment. But yes, there is misalignment of desire with the natural acceptance. And that is because the contemplation is not awakened. Okay. Nice, Vijay. Vijay, Namaste. Okay. If, if this uh, com contemplation, if it is uh, participating in larger order, how it can be a static act great activity? That means uh, I, I assume that the dynamic messages keep on uh, discussing or keep on comparing or keep on changing. So state activity, I assume as this uh, is a, a, a state which is uh, not changing continuously. Is it so? See, when I'm seeing the reality, it is getting state in me. So seeing is state activity. There's some murmuring sound here. Seeing is the state activity. Finding live accordingly is the dynamic activity. So I'm seeing my relationship. I'm seeing my participation. But the decision to participate is a dynamism to it. I hope I was audible to you. Yeah, yes, that means the, the dynamic means it's not like uh, not changing or straight also it doesn't mean that it is the picture. That means seeing and uh, imagination. So seeing is as it is stated as state activity. And uh, whatever you imagine inside that is dynamic activity. You use it like that, Paya? Dynamic activity is the natural decision in me to be in line with the state activity. It is a natural decision in me. Okay. That means state activity is seeing in the sense, seeing with the self or seeing with eyes. So when I'm seeing the reality, it is getting stated in me. Then the natural decision to live accordingly is the dynamic activity. Okay. Uh, actually, my question is that State activity, as, as you said, it is seeing, seeing the activity, seeing the our desires or expectations like that. Yes or no? No, no, seeing the reality. Uh, yeah, seeing the reality in that the desires or expectations, right? No, no, no. See, state activity is there with all the activities. Like the activity which are not listed, you have one and two. Has raised a question here in the chat box. If the other person is more interested in physical facilities and sensory things, how can we make them happy? Yeah. Now here we need to understand what happiness is. So 
so happiness is to understand and to live in harmony so for every person whatever be the level of competence happiness is ensured by right understanding and right feeling of harmony so i'll work for that so that would be my consistent program with the other now depending on the level of competence i will try to complement the other i will try to see how the other person can pay attention to this how the other person can explore there would be limitations with time place individual with some persons the progress may be fast this with some persons the progress may be slow but my program can be consistent so this is the nice thing about this that once i am able to see the reality as it is my program gets definite with every human being i am having the same program so the essence is the same my expression would be subjective to the competence of the other person morning namaste bhaiya namaste uh, bhaiya mera question ye hai uh, pet animals are they in harmony <laughs> say it again pet animals are they in harmony uh, yeah harmony or not see the imagination in the animal is not developed it is you know mostly the animal is mostly active at the level of expectation so that desire to know is not there and knowing is also not there so mostly the conduct appears definite so we can say that this is harmony because the potential is also not there to know and the knowing is also not accomplished right so they appear to be having a definite conduct and mostly you know they are living with definite conduct so we can say that yes they are in harmony but this harmony is not on the basis of understanding and living in harmony this is mostly because the limitation <clears throat> of the development of the activities of the self yes yes okay bhaiya but my, my my question actually related is bhaiya that's they are dependent on the person who is having that pet animal so they are depending on that's whenever food is given they have to get the food if yes. they are free i think they will be happy to live accordingly so this is the behind the, the thinking bhaiya yes yes bhaiya so as a human being would certainly not like to live like that but they are not questioning because their activities are not developed to that extent if human being also is not questioning then you see that a person reconciles with this kind of life but the moment the person starts questioning all these things then you will see some kind of you know disagreement in relationship but that is nice that is nice because it is the way to develop the self when you start questioning these things also Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you very much. Nice, Bhaiya. Sir, I just had a request. Sir, sir, this is dynamic or state activity. Yes. Can you elaborate a little bit on this? I will respond in English, Bhaiya. Now, I will start the English session. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, if we look at the block B1, then state activity <clears throat> is seeing the reality whether it is relationship or harmony or coexistence and dynamic activity is the natural decision in me to be in line with that now if you look at the activities of block b2 so state activity is the way presently i am conditioned for comparing or for testing the way i am conditioned so this is my current state and the dynamic activity the decision making in me in line with this conditioning so the decision is there as dynamic activity my being my assuming is there as state activity a decision dynamic activity maya sir ji decision dynamic activity mein. सेलेक्टिंग कर रहे हैं क्या कर डिसाइड कर रहे हैं किस टेस्ट के लिए क्या करना है एनालाइजिंग कर रहे हैं तो जो भी हमने कंपेयरिंग में सोचा कि बढ़िया हो सकता है उसके लिए हम एनालाइज कर रहे हैं कैसे पूरा किया जाए इसको 
डिसीजन डायनामिक में आया और स्टेट में सर नेचुरल स्टेट में अगर हम ज्ञान की बात करें ब्लॉक वी की बात करें If I'm talking about right understanding, then seeing the reality as the pure observer. Otherwise, assuming. So, जो भी हम assume करते हैं, for the sake of happiness, वो हमारा state activity बन जाता है. और उसके साथ हम decision लेते रहते हैं, वो हमारा dynamic activity होता है. ठीक है भैया. जी जी स्टेट रियलिटी स्टेट को देखा तो स्थिति क्रिया स्टेट हो गया स्थिति क्रिया यानी हमारे अंदर स्थित हो गया है वो हमने कुछ मान लिया है या हमने जान लिया है तो मानना भी स्थिति है जानना भी स्थिति है अब उसके साथ जो हम निर्णय ले रहे हैं वो हमारा डायनेमिक एक्टिविटी है जैसे हमने माना है वैसा पहचानते हैं निर्वाह करते हैं जी 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 थैंक यू नाइस भैया सर नमस्ते सभी को नमस्ते सर इज द नोइंग इज नॉट अ कंपटीशन एक्चुअल द व्हाट इज द नोइंग हाउ कैन आई इंट्रोड्यूस द नोइंग इज दिस एंड दैट इज द नोइंग इज विदाउट अजम्पशन इज नोइंग नो ये तो सही नहीं लग रहा नोइंग इज अवेकनिंग ऑफ ब्लॉक बी1 ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच सर दीदी हाँ भैया बात मेरे को ये डाउट आया कि व्हाट आई एम डाउट इज टच टू मेनी पीपल आर कंपेयरिंग विथ अदर्स सो सम वे सम पॉइंट वी फील लाइक वी आल्सो शुड हैव द थिंग्स लाइक सम बेसिक थिंग्स और समथिंग नीड्स व्हाट वी नीड सपोज I can. What I am saying is, a comfort zone is different. Luxury is different. So, what are the comforts? Uh, suppose the time by the time to time, it will change. So right now, AC is uh, comfort for everyone, but it's not a luxury in these days. So if we, the some point of time, if half of the amount of luxury items coming to the comfortable zones, so what should we take? Like uh, we should uh, compromise on it, or we should. Uh, Uh, not compromise and not what else. Don't know what is the comparison. Is it is good or not? See, the only thing to do is to develop right understanding, right feeling within myself and also in the other. So in place of comparing with the other, I'll try to develop right understanding in the other. Because in that comparison, neither I am comfortable nor the other is comfortable. If I have more than what the other has, I am excited. Other is depressed. If I have less than what the other has, I am depressed. Other is excited. Now neither excitement is naturally acceptable nor depression is naturally acceptable. So when I have the right understanding, I can share it with the other, and you see that the other person also feels relaxed, isn't it? A person yeah. in my neighborhood, you know, in the morning when I was coming for the morning session, he told me that he has built a new house of three stories, and he wanted me to show that house. Yeah. Then I yeah. said that in how many rooms will you live? In how many rooms will you live? You will require only one room. So how does it matter whether it is three storied or two storied? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you get influence. ठीक है बढ़िया. हाँ भाई. हाँ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Um. Good morning. Earlier, uh, I thought that with B B two activities, I have to continuously watch my imagination and I have to make uh aligning them with my natural acceptance. it seems like a long journey and difficult task but uh, by introducing this b1 black i have this b1 black that i have to see some heights then uh, naturally uh, this imagination will come in align with that it, it seems somewhat easy am i thinking right or not very clear bhaiya say it again um earlier only with b2 blocks um purifying my imagination in line with natural acceptance seems a difficult task for me but uh, introducing this b1 block this b1 activity of selves uh if i could able to see this maybe this uh, coexistence harmony and relationship uh, 
it seems an easy task for me to align my imagination with the natural acceptance it seems easy yeah right yeah yeah in place of saying easy i'll say it has become more clear now the more natural clear. acceptance has become more clear essentially the potential in me to contemplate understand and realize is my natural acceptance the only thing is that now and i can see what my natural acceptance is earlier i was just trying to hint at it whether yes, it is sir. opposition or relationship yes sir without knowing this be one black or uh, harmony or disharmony without... Yes, now when without, i go further yeah it's without aware of uh, this coexistence and harmony and participate uh, relationship only with this b2 black image uh, desire thought and expectation uh, it's like it was a difficult task for me uh, oh my god I, i have so many desires and so many thoughts and so many expectation how could i align them with all time comfortable state inside me so it was somewhat uh, struggled the state but uh, when i see this uh, there is coexistence and harmony and relationship if i if i the thing is i have to see this then uh, it will help me to align myself yes certainly yes you have to see so, this it is yes. it is very clear but, but with only b2 it was difficult seems yes 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 So that's what you have to awaken block B one. For that, I have, need to have the right proposal, and that also in completeness. Then only I can awaken it. Otherwise, how will I verify? How will I validate? Yes, so that's right. how we have introductory workshop, then UHV two, then UHV three, and so on. Nice, be here.